Jaguar has unleashed its first all-electric car, the I-Pace, priced from under £60,000, and ready to take on Tesla. The British luxury sports car firm says its new I-Pace, with zero emissions and all-wheel drive, will deliver electrifying performance, accelerating from rest to 60 miles per hour in just 4.5 seconds, and up to a top speed of 124 miles per hour. Yet it still promises a range of 298 miles, or enough to get from London to Newcastle, on one overnight charge. You can watch the car being unveiled in the video Bello Jaguar bosses say they have torn up the rulebook with the I-Pace, which offers enough space for five adults and their luggage, and places the company at the forefront of the electric vehicle revolution. It aims to take on US electric car passes that are Tesla and German rivals, such as Audi's electric e-tron range, and the expected expansion of BMW's i-cars that will follow in the footsteps of the i3 and i8. Jaguar has even filmed the i-Pace in a race against both the Tesla Model X 75D and 100D from a standstill to 62 miles per hour and back to stationary again, beating both, according to the footage. Had it gone up against the top of the range Model X P 100D, with a claimed sprint to 62 miles per hour time of 2.9 seconds, it would probably have been a different story, and not the best way to introduce a new car. Priced from £58,995 to £76,995, which includes a taxpayer-funded green subsidy of £4,500, the I-Pace is available to order now in four trim levels, S, SE, HSE and the top of the range first edition launch model. Ahead of its public debut at next week's Geneva Motor Show. It was launched officially on Thursday night by British comedian Jack Whitehall during a special ceremony beamed online around the globe from Graus, in Austria, where the vehicle is being built under license for Jaguar by contract manufacturer Magnus Air. Jaguar's already on sale E-Pace SUV is also being built here. The electric all-wheel drive I-Pace is powered by two Jaguar-designed electric motors, one at each axle, developing a total of 400 horsepower, the equivalent of about four Ford Fiestas. Providing the power is the I-Pace's high-tech 90 kWh lithium-ion battery comprising 432 pouch cells delivering a claimed range of up to 298 miles. The battery unit sits centrally between the two axles and is laid down as possible to give perfect 50-50 weight distribution and a low center of gravity. But what's most important for many, when it comes to going electric is range and easy charging. A 30-minute charge will give a range of about 80 miles. The car is also fully compatible with 100 kW DC rapid chargers, which will enable an 80% charge in just 45 minutes, as the technology is rolled out across the UK.
Home charging overnight with a 7 kilowatts AC wall box will achieve the same 80% state of charge in just over 10 hours, while a full charge would take almost 13 hours. To maximize energy use and save the battery's charge, a new navigation system is specially set up to help the electric vehicle take the most efficient route available. It assesses the topography of the planned journey and uses insights from previous trips, including driving style, to calculate a personalized range and charging plan. The aim is to reduce the driver's range anxiety, the fear they may run out of juice, before they reach their destination. The high-tech system also uses artificial intelligence to identify individual driver preferences and then tailor the iPaces driving and interior settings accordingly. A smart battery preconditioning system automatically raises or lowers its temperature to maximize range before driving away. Jaguar says the I-Pace is clean, smart and safe and delivers instantaneous and sustainable sports car performance. Largely unchanged from the prototype unveiled two years ago, the production version of the I-Pace features a sleek, coupe-like silhouette, echoing Tesla's Model X and the popular BMW X4 and XX and Mercedes Glee Coupe although arguably the Jaguar is better looking than all of those. It is influenced by the design of the one-off Jaguar CX-75 supercar prototype, which appeared in the James Bond movie Spectre, but was never put into production, the car was driven by This Is Money's Rob Paul before the film premiered. Beneath the seats in the rear, the storage for a laptop and tablet, while the rear luggage compartment offers a 656-liter capacity which is expandable to a capacious 1,453 liters with seats folded flat. The interior also feels airy thanks to a full-length panoramic roof which absorbs ultraviolet light so there is no need for a blind. The upmarket high-tech touch pro duo infotainment system uses intuitive touch screens, sensors and tactile physical controls. It also features Amazon's Alexa to allow the driver to ask the car questions such as is my car locked? What is the charging level? Do I have enough range to get to work as a connected car? The iPace will also be the first Jaguar to provide wireless over-the-air updates to ensure owners always have seamless access to the latest infotainment, telematics, and battery energy control software. More than 200 prototypes were tested around the world over 1.5 million miles. 60 times around the globe, in extremes of frost and heat, from 40C to plus 40C, by 500 engineers, including 11,000 hours of rake testing. It even ventured into enemy territory when it was put through its paces in Tesla's own backyard at the end of last year.
Jaguar says, there will be nothing else on the road that looks or drives like the Jaguar I pace. It is designed and engineered to take full advantage of its smart electric powertrain and maximize the potential of the packaging benefits it brings. With zero tailpipe emissions, I-Pace owners may be eligible to benefit from lower road taxes, reduced tolls and even reduced congestion charges. For a company which built its reputation on sexy sports cars and luxury executive limousines, the newest member of Jaguar's Pace family of higher riding sports and utility vehicles, which also includes the F-Pace and V-Pace, marks another significant step into the growing SUV market. Jaguar Land Rover Chief Executive Dr. Ralph Speff said, where other companies talk about the future, who build it? We have torn up the rulebook.ia and Hogan, vehicle line director for the model added, for I-Pace customers, fuel stations are a thing of the past. After overnight charging they'll wake up every morning with a full tank of fuel that we set out with a clean sheet approach to harness new battery electric technology with an architecture engineered from the outset to optimize performance, aerodynamics and interior space. The result is the I-Pace, a true Jaguar and truly driver-focused electric vehicle.